Stop right there. Do not even think about going to buy a new one of these in the store until you watch this video because we're going to show you today how you can avoid having to go buy new air conditioner registers and how to restore these to look brand spanking new. everybody, Jeff here, and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time visiting us, this is a great time for you to take a look at the, the subscription button down below and you want to click on that so you can be aware of all of the other videos that we put out to help you. So this is all for you, my friends. And at the same time, when you subscribe, make sure you click on that bell icon right next to it that will appear when you subscribe because it doesn't make any sense if you subscribe without being alerted to every time we put up a new video. Okay? And then if you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments and we'll answer them for you. So let's get started with today's project. All right, so here's the air conditioner registers here lined up on the floor. And what we're going to do is spray paint them with the sprayer. And that's really the most efficient way to do this. You can also, uh, you wanna spray them with primer first as well, or use a paint that has primer in it. And here you can see we got the screws. Just got them stuck into a wood block to hold them upright so we can paint them. Yep. That was what, about 10 seconds? You can see how they're already nice and white. They were silver before, and they're nice and perfect white right now. Now you may have seen us do this in one of our previous videos where we showed you this little painter's trick that we've used for years now where we nail a piece of wood to the top of these two doors holds them at a 90 degree angle so that you can walk around them and just very rapidly paint them with a sprayer. So since we have the concrete floor here, we're gonna do all of this at the same time with the air conditioner registers there and the wire shelves over here. And we'll also spray paint some of these doors in place. It's a little bit trickier. You have to use these larger shields that we've got here, but in the long run, it's a lot quicker than rolling the door. In rolling it, you usually have to do several coats. All right, so now for this last of the uh, air conditioner registers here. What we're going to do is do it a different method here to show you in case you don't have a big paint sprayer. This is the other method that I use when we don't have the sprayer around. I usually go to the hardware store and I'll buy a can of spray primer or spray paint, um, two different cans. So you, you spray prime it first and then you spray the paint after the primer is dry. This is a newer one that I'm trying now that's got the paint and the primer built into it. 
So we're going to see if we can't do it in one step instead of two. So, you know, I've already been shaking it up, so it's pretty much ready to go. So what we do is we just give it a nice sweeping motion back and forth. You don't get too close to it, otherwise you can make it get too wet and make it run. You just want to put a, a gentle coat on it. And once that coat sets up, maybe in about an hour or so, you can come by and put a second coat on. So here we go. And by the way, this stuff really puts out a, a nice little fog. So make sure you're not within several feet of anything else. We're in an empty room right now. Here we go. So there you go, that's just from 10 seconds of work, and you can see it already looks a lot better. So then you just walk away from it, don't touch it, don't do anything, and let it dry, and you come back and hit it with a second coat. And you can see I also got the screws at the same time. I'm going to give them a little bit more. That way the screws will be nice and white, so we'll come back and hit it again. Okay. It's nice and dry, so I've rotated it 90 degrees to make sure I can get uh, some of the other directions too, and we're just going to spray that. Here we go. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So once this dries and to the touch, probably about an hour or two, depending on how cold we make the AC, this should be nice and perfect, ready to go. Here's what the big one looks like after we painted it. Look how it looks brand spanking new, doesn't it? We didn't have to go spend any money, and one like this would have been about $30 or $40 at Home Depot. And I don't even think they carry this size here. So a lot of times the old condos that we end up working on, you can't find the sizes that they have in there. So you can see we even painted the screws, so this looks brand new, and let's get this mounted up on the wall. Okay, so there we are. So there's the AC register put back up on the wall here. And tell me if this doesn't look a whole lot better here if we kind of pan out a little and see how it looks compared to the whole rest of the wall. This white just goes really nice with the with this um, earth tone colored paint here. It certainly looks a lot better than that yucky silver color that this was before. Plus it had years of stains from moisture dripping down and dust and dirt and all that. It looks a million percent better. It looks brand new. And you didn't have to go. You're